Hello, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your tarot and oracle reading for the week ahead. First card out for you is Jaguar, and it is coming out in reverse, but this is what it looks like upright. So the spear of the Jaguar, which is the protector of life, um, who listens to their intuition and is the master of shadows, is coming through in your reading, which is so funny because Luna's sitting right here and she's a little tiny Jaguar herself. Um, but it is coming out in reverse, so the Jaguar spirit has some medicine, some healing wisdom for you this week. What in your life needs to be released? What have you carried around with you for far too long, which is ready to be let go of once and for all? Jaguar medicine is available to heal the fear so you can allow it to go. It's time to come out of the shadows and end the shadow games that you may have unconsciously agreed to play. Call on Jaguar to unfetter you from toxic relationships and recover your natural instinct for the right people and situations. So um, I almost called you Jaguar. Scorpio, there are some people, some situations that you are keeping around that are not good for your highest being, um, for your for your well-being, your highest self, your greatest path in life. And these could be friends, roommates, partners, lovers, family members. I don't know who it is, okay? It could be anyone for you, but there are definitely uh, certain individuals in your sphere who are not good for you and calling upon Jaguar or spirit medicine will help you recover those natural instincts that they were talking about to determine, uh, discern, determine uh, who is and is not good for you, okay? Or what is and is not good for you. We also have gratitude coming out, which is a beautiful card. Find just one thing that you feel grateful for right now and let that gratitude pour through your body. It's a healing balm like the warmth of the sun. I love that. Focus on what you do have, not on what you don't have. We're going to get six cards, two rows of three to further elaborate on the energies this week. First card out for you is the Princess of Wands. Beautiful. Mm, there is some passionate, fiery new beginnings here. I feel like you have certain passions. I'm seeing like new hobbies, new business idea energy for a lot of you. Um, that you're learning a lot about. You're really diving deep into this, studying, researching everything that you can, uh, which is really cool. Um, I'm seeing a lot of studying for some reason. Sagittarius energy is coming out strongly. We have the Princess of Swords right next to the Princess of Wands, both upright. This rarely happens, and I love this. This is like a Again, you're learning something. A lot of you are like, I don't know if you're like on Duolingo, learning a new language <laughs> or a new hobby that you're learning off of YouTube or something. I'm seeing something like that. Or it's like a DIY project, um, fixing up something in your house. Like it feels very much like you are self-studying something, learning something on your own, doing something on your own. And it's like learn as you go, but you're feeling very inspired by it. Um, when you're in this state, your crown chakra is completely open. And if you feel very spiritually alive and connected um, and just in a really great place. So that's wonderful. Third card out for you is the Six of Cups in reverse. Mm. So this is what it looks like upright. It says pleasure. And this has a lot to do with friendship. So this is confirming for me that the toxicity in your life can be found in your platonic connections. There may be someone there who is just a constant rain cloud, and it's literally raining out as I'm doing this reading, who is a constant rain cloud or constantly like very flaky or negative. And you don't realize how deeply that impacts your own personal mental health and well being. And Spirit's saying, enough is enough. It's time for you to recover your ability to discern who is and is not for you, what is and is not right for you. So there's a lot of analyzing here. Um, how to move forward knowing who this person is. Listen to your intuition, guys. Second row of cards out, fourth card, nine of swords in reverse. There is something that is bothering you and this says despair and cruelty and it's in reverse. So there is something that is heavy on your mind um, at this time. And this may be in reference to, you know, the changes that are taking place in your relationships, your friendships, your dynamics. Uh, you may be really in your head about certain things, um, dealing with mental health issues, Take really good care of your mental health at this time. Take really good care of yourself at this time. Put yourself before others, okay? Make sure you're getting the exercise, eating good foods, um, keeping a clean house, 
focusing on your dreams, your goals, your studies, the things that you wish to continuously evolve. Focus on that before you, you know, prioritize other people. And I just saw two, three, four on the clock as I said that. That is a really good sign of positive momentum and growth and forward movement. We have justice coming out. All the hard work that you're putting in to your studies, to your goals, your dreams, your aspirations, whatever you're feeling passionate about right now is gonna pay off. There is also a situation here involving someone who it's like they do right by you, okay? Like if any of you are in a long-term relationship partnership, they do right by you. Uh, they're trustable. They are telling you the truth. Um, there may be some overthinking involved there as well. But yeah, this is a very trustworthy energy. Um, good karma is coming to you. And I just feel like the scales are balancing out this week. There are really amazing friendships and relationships in your life. And it's literally just like one, <laughs> one person or situation that is just a little questionable. It's, it's giving me a little bit of doubt here. Um, but you're feeling really grateful for what you do have, what is going on. Let's see what the last card is. Ooh, last card is the Magician in Reverse. Wow. You have all the tools you need to get started. Decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Whenever the Magician comes out in Reverse, it's telling us the need to get clear about what we want, what we're doing, and to simply take action on it. Um, some of you guys, this may be a situation where you know that an issue exists, but you're not taking action to resolve said issue, and that will further complicate things. Another message of the magician coming out in reverse, especially underneath the Six of Cups in reverse, is manipulation, okay? For example, someone may have more money uh, than they, like if this is like someone living with you or a renter, if you have like a tenant, um, and they're, you know, giving you this whole story of like, oh, I don't have any money, blah, blah, blah. They have money. They're lying. Okay. Um, or something like that. You know, it's a situation where someone wants you to believe something, but there's more to the story here. And it's just like little white lies like that, that are really like, you can't trust this person. I don't care if it's a little white lie, like it's a lie, point blank period. And you know, I just don't like the magician in reverse. It gives me douchebaggery energy, someone who's only looking out for themselves um, and tearing other people down in the process. So just be careful of people like that. And you know, they can creep up on you. They can consider you a friend. You can consider them a friend. You could be very loyal to them. But it's like, okay, if you're constantly the one giving them advice, you know, um, cutting, cutting the slack for them, uh, cutting them slack, uh, picking up the slack for them, you know, it's like, it then becomes like, what are you even getting out of this? Because you're constantly serving this person and they're doing nothing for you. And on top of that, I feel like a rain cloud energy. Like they're very, very negative in addition to all of that. So it's like they lower your mood anyways. What's the point of keeping them in your life? So just be very mindful and aware of the negative habits and people that you keep in your life because they may be destroying your mood and your mental health and well-being more than you realize. And Nine of Swords Reverse is a big warning for me to really take care of your mental health at this time. And I, again, just don't feel like you realize how much this person affects you mentally and how much they may affect your, your social group, your relationships, you know, for example, if you're keeping this person around, giving them the benefit of the doubt, you know, other friends of yours or your partner or whatever, they may not like this person and they may start to distance themselves from you because you're keeping this person around. Okay. And you know, for some of you, this may not even be a person. I, I had a friend once who had a dog. Dog, a literal dog and I love animals so much but this dog was totally untrained they did nothing to train it and it was a huge heavy dog that would jump on you so much like punch you in the face like they ripped my clothes knocked my nose ring out before uh, gave me bruises tried eating my phone like things like that and it was annoying going to their house it annoyed me so much that I stopped showing up in that friendship like over a dog and it's like why and now obviously I'm if you have a pet I'm not telling you to get rid of your pets at all okay train them if that's the case but you know it's that's an example like you're carrying this negative rain cloud energy with you giving them the benefit of the doubt and it's pushing other people away from you like you're keeping someone's negative energy so close to you that it then becomes your negative energy and other people don't want to be around you that it, this can affect your relationships much deeper your life much deeper than you realize right Lupai? so 
you know, just pay attention to that. All right, thank you guys for joining me. Like this video, comment how it resonated down below, and subscribe to the channel if you've not already. <laughs> Watch for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs to get the fullest overview of this week ahead. And if you want a personal reading with me one-on-one, -on -one, the link to that is always in the description box, spiritpsychic.org. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.